Hello everyone. Welcome back to Single Girl Budgets. My name is Jessica and today we're doing a cash stuffing. Now you guys, I usually do this after I have put up my paycheck budget, but I am in the process of switching some things up. I've kind of, I, I really like the digital planning like videos I've watched. And now that I have an iPad that I can use for personal use because it was given to me by work, I really want to try that. So, you guys, I didn't do a budget for this paycheck. Now, granted, I made sure that, you know, the bills I had and the cash and everything is under what I brought in. So, in that sense, yes, I am good. But we're just going to roll with it this week. And I'm going to try to uh, have something planned for the next paycheck. So I will show you guys. So let me, this is my 52 week challenge. Let's go ahead actually, you know, while it's sitting here. So I don't forget like last time, let's pick two envelopes. Now, since I am paid bi-weekly, I just go ahead and I do two envelopes at a time. So we got 20 and 39. So let's go ahead and set those off to the side. And there's a cord in my way. Hold please. Let's see if I can move that core without. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So I'm going to set that off to the side. Next, I have my wallet and my sinking fund binder. So I'm going to go ahead and put the sinking fund binder off to the side. You guys, there will be a video coming up. I am going to be changing up my sinking funds and my sinking fund binder. It's going to be exciting. Just wait. Let's pull everything out of the wallet. So I do go through all of my change, you guys, and I think, oh yeah, I literally just have quarters. So I know I need to go to the grocery store and I usually go to Aldi. So I'm gonna leave one quarter in my wallet. The rest of these, so that is one, two, three dollars is gonna go in my piggy bank. Ah, sorry if that was loud, guys. All right, let me set those off to the side. All right, so she is much thinner. So. Let's go through what we've got here. So this is my money for this week. I actually have a little extra. Um, I am doing, Stanley, I just check out the quarters. This is going to be $654, I think. I think. I have a plan for it all. Don't worry. This envelope is empty. This envelope is empty. You guys, I spent everything. But the beauty of it is, oh, I have 10 left in household. So I'm going to go ahead and just leave that in there. Because I am going to let that roll over. These are all my ones. So I'm going to go ahead and pull those out. And then I think these are all empty as well. Yep. Entertainment to bank. And then groceries. So these are all empty. So household did have $10. So I'm going to go ahead and roll that $10 over. And see where we get. So dollar. I have been doing the dollar bill challenge. I try to save all my dollars. So I'm actually going to go ahead and take... These four, let's just count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So twelve dollars there. So let's go ahead and set up our cash here. So we got ones, got our fives. I did just count this, so I'm not gonna count it for you guys again unless you want me to. I guess I could. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200. 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 60, 84, 20, 40, 60, 85, 20, 40, 60, 80, 600. So there's 600. And then we've got 10, 20, 30. Oh, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70. I was wrong. <laughs> 70, so 670 and 12 is 682. So that is what we are starting with. So first things first, I always do the cash envelopes first or my, this is the 52 week challenge. So 20 is super easy. So we're just going to take a 20, fold that bad boy in half, stuff that in there. Let me grab my stickers. I just have some ones that I never used from some of my happy planner stickers. And so done. And then we've got 39, so 20, 30, 5, there's 6, 37, 38, 39. All right, so let's go ahead and put these in here. 
So that money actually comes out of my spending money. And you guys, let me actually, let me grab my iPad here and open up. I have made myself, because I am liking the digital planning. Let's see if we can get this all in frame here. I'm gonna move some things over. So I made myself a little sinking fund notebook in GoodNotes because that's what I'm gonna be using. And it just, it really is, I'm hoping will make my life a little easier slash I'm gonna like it more. So this is my current breakdown that I've got. I know it's kind of far away, you guys, but that's about as close as I can get everything. So I am gonna go ahead uh, let's come here. You guys, I am still learning. There we go. So we know that out of this spending, we had, oh, it might help if I do the right thing. We had savings. My handwriting is still horrible. Uh, what'd we say? 39, so $59. So basically 60. So that means that my... My total spending budget, and you guys, I am taking it down to four cash envelopes. I didn't need a spending and an entertainment. That just wasn't necessary. So spending is basically going to go down to 240 So we'll just use the personal envelope. And let's give ourselves 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40. So let's just go ahead and put this in here. I might be making myself some dividers, but I'm hoping by cutting down the number of cash envelopes won't be like that will help my wallet not be so thick. So there's personal. So then for household, I'm going to add another 50. I do already have 10. So I'm actually going to switch that out, you guys. And I'm just going to do 20, 40, 60 put this in here and then for pets pets always gets 50 so two 20s and a 10 yes that's your money Stanley Stanley like heard me say pets and was like I'm sorry what money huh hmm? that's your money hi why you gotta be so like involved all the time oh hello Okay, get off the table. Thank you. All right, guys. Stanley needed some loving, of course, because, you know, he's needy like that. All right, so the last envelope is groceries. Groceries gets 110. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 110. So that means my cash envelopes are good to go. So I'm just going to go ahead and put these in my wallet. Now I have learned, I'm gonna do two and two. So we're gonna do pets and household on one side and personal and groceries on the other. Actually, no, I don't like that. I'm gonna do personal and pets and groceries and household. That kinda, I feel like that kinda evens out the thickness a little. So we'll just do one on that side, one on that side, and that's already much better than it was. Okay, so let's go ahead and pull out the sinking funds binder. So I'm going to push these denominations up. First things first is my dollar bills. So I'm going to go ahead and switch back here. This is part of the reason, you guys, why I am switching up my, my system. Like, that is coming off. The dollar bills are stuck to the tape. Like, yeah. So I'm not going to do it in this video, but there will be an upcoming video of my new, my new setup. So let's see if I can, Ugh, I'm gonna, just going to like try to rub that down a little so it's not as bad. All right. So this is our stack of dollar bills that we've got. This is what we're adding. I'm not even going to count it right now, you guys. We're just going to. We're just going to pop it in here and we're going to see what we can come up with in, I don't know, one, three, six months, a year. I don't know. So there's that. So then we come back to our sinking funds. Oh, that's actually a really good way to do this. Too bad. 
I will be moving out of these. But I did go ahead and alphabetize them. Oh, sorry if you guys don't like that. I think I'm going to do the same real quick. So give me one second. Okay, so I have organized these so that they are somewhat in alphabetic order. I did keep all the smaller ones at the front and then these guys that I'm just kind of using as extras. They're still at the back, but that's okay. So first things first is Amazon Prime. And I know I'm going to want to switch some of these bills out. So like I have 10... Wait, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90. So if I add in 10, that's going to give me 100. So I'm going to do it this way. So then we've got 20, 40, 60, 80. Wait a second. Guys, I'm kind of puzzled. I guess I should have counted first, right? 20, 40, 60, 80, 85, 90. So let's just do this. So... There's a 20 that gives me 80. I had 80 because I don't know how to count. Oh my gosh. You guys ever have that moment where like math just does not work in your head? Huh. Okay, so I have 80. I'm adding 10. That would be 90. That was correct. I believe Amazon Prime is due in April, and so as long as I keep doing $10 a paycheck, I will have the amount needed. So I'm going to go ahead and pull the iPad kind of over here. We'll make this a little bigger so you guys can see what I'm doing. And so this is just going to be 90. Uh, I'm going to skip bed for now because that's one of the ones that's back here. Car Care is getting $20 this paycheck, so that's going to put me at $80 there. Let's pop this back in, and then 80, oh, oh, wow. And I'm still learning all my little tips and tricks, you guys. Okay, clothing is gonna get 10. Let's see what we've got in here. I've got a 20, I've got 25, so we are up to 35. Maybe. Oh my goodness. So 35. Oh, sh you guys. <sighs> I give up already. Oh, erase. This is 80. Okay. Okay. We are O. Oh, you guys, we are okay. Gifts is going to get 10. And so we are going to go ahead and switch out these 10s for a 20. And then I'm going to go ahead and add 10. So that puts us at 20, 40, 60, 70. And you guys, this is like the lazy way of doing sinking funds because I do not go and get the exact like bills out that I need because I ain't got time for that. Like that's a lot of work. I usually get 20s and then switch things out. Now, if... Like now it kind of looks like I am getting down to the point where I'm probably going to need to get some smaller bills than I will. So giving has 60 and I am adding $10 there. So that's going to put giving at 70 and I am saving up to do a scholarship in my hometown. Why do I feel? Oh, because that bill is crooked. I was like, that's why it's not laying right. And so that'll be about... About $500. Hair care is going to get five. And I'm going to go ahead and switch all these out. So I've got two 20s there. And then we'll add five. So 20, 40, 60, 85. And I actually do have enough to go get my hair done. It's usually about $80. So then I'm almost due. So that's like perfect. All right, for house, house is getting $10. So we'll just throw a $10 bill in. And that leaves me with 100, 110, 120, 121. Hello, sir. Stanley is running around like a crazy man. All right, insurance. So... If you guys watched my budget videos, you will know that my insurance did go down. 
so I am saving up currently to basically pay off the premium. I still do have to pay about $90 a month right now, but I'd like to get to the point where I can pay it every six months. So currently we have 100, 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, and I am adding $20. So this will be the first one that next time I'll pull all those bills from. So that gives us 100, 10, 20, 25, 30, 31, 32, 133. All right, there's that. And then for medical, medical currently has 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. I'm adding 5 to make 30. And medical, I don't have, like, I don't really have to pay anything for medical usually. That's all covered. But uh, when it comes to dental, vision, etc. Pets is currently empty. Pets is getting $20. So let's go ahead and throw that in there. And this is more a, like sinking fund for their... Um, like vet visits, anything like that that happens. And then my plan is if I could stop spending money, I would move their cash envelope, whatever's left, into this sinking fund. And then vacation is going to get 10. So vacation has 20, 45, and we are going to add $10 in there. So 20, 45, 55. All right. So there is that. And then let's hit some of these other ones that I've got kind of randomly through here. So first, this one says iPad. However, since I got an iPad, it is technically technology. And right now, I put money in there initially because if you guys watched my last cash stuffings, because I got like a bonus for Christmas, I got a $100 bill. Technology, and it was because I wanted to buy an iPad. Well, now that I have one, I don't necessarily need this much in there. Like, I know I'm gonna need to replace my computer at some point, but I mean, right now I have the iPad, so I'm not really concerned about it. So I am gonna just put money in here. I may reallocate it to something else, but we'll see. So that gives me 100, 120, 25, 130. So our technology has 130. Next is Rumkey, which is my trash. I pay that quarterly, so it's kind of one of those things that if I throw, you know, five bucks in, like, a paycheck, that covers it, so that is what we are doing, so that puts me up to 20. Basically, I need, like, 15 a month, so I'll have to add a little extra at some point, but for now, we're just doing five bucks, you know, so we are at 20 with them. Next is my Sam's Club membership, and you guys, I just paid this, but I do have $5 left over. I'm going to go ahead and add 5 That puts me at 10 My Sam's Club is only like 45 a year, and so I think what will happen is once I get this filled, I just won't stuff it for the rest of the year, and I'll move, you know, the 5 I've been putting in there, I'll move it somewhere else. Or, I thought about keeping it in here. And then that way, like, when I go to Sam's Club and I end up spending, like, $500, I don't know. We'll see. What would you guys do? Like, I'd be really curious to know. And then the last one is my bed. I am in, like, my, I need a new bed. It is not a, like, necessity, but I definitely want to start saving towards it. So I am going to go ahead and put the rest of this in here, which is 20 so 5, 10, 15, 20, $25. And I forgot that I had that extra. So let's go ahead and change this to be 25. And then, oh no, wait. Oh my gosh. Okay. So we added 20, which puts us at 25. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and set these off to the side. And I'm going to grab my calculator. And then, ah, things are sliding. And then what I want to do, I'm going to need to, because I had that extra 15 here, right? So 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100, 10, 20, 30, 
40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65. Yep, that's what I thought. An extra 15. So I'm going to make this 165. See, this is what I am loving about like the digital planning. So let's go ahead and add up all of our balances and see where we stand. Holy, close your ears, holy shit. I have almost a thousand dollars, you guys, in my sinking funds. I did not even like realize that. Like, it's crazy how those little amounts, like, oh my gosh. So I currently have $969. What in the world? So, you guys, I am loving this, like, so much. I went ahead and I kind of just made this really quick. It's got just my cash breakdown, my paycheck date, because I want to track this every paycheck, but I don't want to have to, like, make a new, like, sticker and all that stuff. This way, it's already made for me. I literally can fill in the amounts, and honestly, the beauty of digital planning, you guys, is that when I am ready... I don't know if I got them all. Did I get them all? No. Hold on. Help. Help awesome digital planners. Why is it not working? Why is it not lassoing? Oh. <laughs> so. I can just copy this. We can go to the next page. Oh. Next page after that and paste it and then look at that all done ready to go like that is what I love about digital planning so I did because I did not make a like tracker I just went ahead and put in a blank paper which I kind of don't like stop it oh, oh come on undo Yes, I am still learning, guys. Mother of Pearl! There we go. All right, so now I can kind of center that a little more. And then I figure whenever I pull from my sinking funds, I will just write, you know, what... There we go. Sorry, guys. I will just write, you know, what it was that I pulled out of my sinking funds. And so then I know, and the beauty of this is I went ahead and I made like a bunch of these. So like, it does not take a lot to copy and paste. Like, I'm, I think I'm in love. I think I'm in love. And I kind of started playing around with like a planner and, oh, might help if you do it right. And like putting some things on there and then like. Doing some, hold on, meh, meh, meh. doing some like note pages and yeah, you guys, I think I'm in love. Like this is unreal. So that is it for this week's cash stuffing video. I will have another one coming up soon, you guys, because we are going to move into a different system. Um, sneak peek. Look how gorgeous this is. They also might be available. I'm going to do some uh, customizing and then they might actually be available in my Etsy shop. If I ever actually put anything up. That's like one of my goals for this like week. But we shall see. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, hit that red subscribe button down below so that you can become part of this little fam that we got going on in this corner of the internet. Hit the bell so you don't miss a single video and I'll see y'all next time. Bye.